Hi, welcome back. In this lecture, we'll see how to configure RabbitMQ to use a JSON message for a communication between producer and consumer. And we are going to also create one POJO class to serialize and deserialize. We'll look at the architecture over here. In this lecture, we are going to create a one more queue called JavaGets underscore JSON to store the JSON messages. And we are going to bind this queue with the exchange using the routing key called Java guides underscore JSON underscore routing underscore key. All right. So this queue basically we are going to create to store only the JSON messages. Let's head over to the IntelliJ idea and let's see how to configure this queue in a Spring Boot application and how to bind this queue with the exchange using this routing key. All right. Let's head over to the IntelliJ idea now and let's go to configuration class that is RabbitMQ config class within this class let's create a one more queue to store the json messages so here i'm going to create a spring bean let's say public queue and make sure that you choose queue from org.springframework.amqp.core package and let's call it as json queue all right perfect and then return new queue and just pass the queue name in this case the queue name is java guides underscore json perfect so we don't have to keep the hard code values let's make it configurable so here what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy this these two lines of code and paste it here over here and let's rename this let's call it as json queue all right and let's also change the property key let's call it as rabbitmq.q.json.name and let's copy this property key and let's go to application.properties file and just paste it over here and let's provide a value java guides underscore json all right perfect let's go back to rabbitmq config class and let's remove this hard code value here and just pass json q perfect now we have created a method let's annotate this method with add bin annotation to make this you know method as a spring bean all right perfect so let me write the comment over here spring bean for q so this q is basically to store the to store json messages perfect next we need to bind this queue with the exchange right so in order to do that let's create a binding so here what i'm to do is i'm to simply copy this existing comment and paste it over here this should be a binding between json queue and exchange using routing key so we need to create a one more routing key only for json queue so here what i will do i will copy these two lines of code and paste it over here and let's rename this one let's call it as routing json key and also change the property key here rabbitmq dot routing dot json dot key let's copy this property key and let's go to application dot properties file let's paste it over here and let's provide a value something like java guides underscore routing underscore json underscore key okay perfect so this routing key we are going to use to bind this queue that is java guides underscore json queue with a exchange called java guides underscore exchange all right perfect now let's go back to the configuration class and just scroll down and here we are going to write the logic to bind a json queue with exchange using a routing key so here just type public and then binding so make sure that you choose binding from org.springframework.amqp.core and then let's call it as json binding okay and then let's use binding builder class dot bind method 
so in this case we are going to bind the json queue right so just call this bind method and just call json queue method next we are going to bind this queue with exchange right so just call this two method that is second one it takes exchange as a parameter and then just pass the exchange method perfect next in order to bind queue with exchange we have to use routing key right so in order to do that let's call the with method here and then just pass the routing key so in this case we need to pass a routing json key okay perfect and let's annotate this method with add bin annotation okay i hope you understood so this binding is for binding this queue with this exchange using this routing key but this binding is basically for you know this queue that is json queue with this exchange using this routing key okay so if you can notice here we are using same exchange but the queue is different as well as the routing key is different well if you can see the architecture over here we have only one exchange but we have multiple queues and we have multiple routing keys okay so whenever exchange want to route the message to the particular key then exchange how to use the unique routing key okay just you know keep this architecture in mind so that you can easily write the code all right let's go back to IntelliJ idea now we have a queue and binding in place next we need to create a rapid template such a way that it should support to send a json messages right now we are using the default rabbit template that is provided by spring auto configuration but we have to create a rabbit template you know it should support sending json messages well basically we are going to set a json message converter to the rabbit template so that rabbit template can support sending json message now let's go and let's create a spring bean for a message converter and then we'll set that message converter to the rabbit template so let's type public and then message converter and make sure that you choose message converter from org.springframework.amqp.support.converter okay just remember this package so there are a lot of message converters from different packages but make sure that you import message converter from this particular package and let's give name as converter all right and then return new jackson jackson to json message converter so make sure that you choose this class jackson to json message converter from org.springframework.amqp.support.converter package all right perfect let's annotate this method with add spring bin annotation now we have written a java configuration to configure this message converter spring bin next we are going to configure rabbit template and then we set this converter to the rabbit template so let's type public and then am qp template so am qp template is an interface and rabbit template is the class it implements am qp template interface so let's call am qp template over here and then let's say am qp template and then it takes a parameter that is connection factory and make sure that you pass connection factory from connection package. perfect and then let's create an instance of rabbit template okay and make sure that you choose a rabbit template from org.springframework.amqp.rabbit.core and then this should be rabbit template equal to new rabbit template and then pass connection factory as a const you know constructor argument next let's set the converter to this rabbit template let's call set message converter and then pass converter so make sure that you just pass this method call so it will return the object of this class isn't it next let's return this rabbit template instance that's it now let's annotate this method with at bin annotation to make this method as a spring bin okay so basically we have written a java based configuration to create rabbit mq spring bin 
all right that is pretty much it let me recap what we have done in this lecture we have created a one more queue called a json queue and then we have written a code to bind a queue with a exchange using a routing key and then we have created a message converter next we have created a rabbit template and we have set the json message converter to it now the rabbit template will support you know json message for the communication all right perfect well once we configure rabbit mq to support for a json message next we are going to create one dto class for serialization and deserialization right so go to dto package right click on it new and then choose java class and let's give class name as a user and hit enter and let's define few instance variable in this class let's say private int id and then private string first name and then private string last name perfect and let's annotate this class with add data lombo connotation to automatically generate a getter setter methods to string method equals hash code methods and other stuff now we have created a user user pojo class for serialize and deserialize all right great in next lecture what we'll do we'll create rabbitmq producer to send a json message to the exchange and then exchange will use the routing key to route that message to the rabbitmq queue all right great i will see you in next lecture